we are starting <laughs> we have to start all over again <laughs> so you have to experience do it for yourself if you are fine everything will be fine right yoga is to make yourself better than what you were before progress yoga is a art of life more directed towards devotion more directed towards uh, unity and harmony in ourselves and uh, in everything that is uh, around us and all the all the we base that uh, we use or we introduce for that uh, harmony and peace is yoga he told me that uh, it's uh, a way of uh, developing uh, mental peace and also respecting mental peace in others okay to understand vinyasa you have to understand yasa first i can explain to you uh, better with a with a very easy example yasa is an order a logical there is set pattern for doing certain activities for example uh, you can take uh, the example of setting a table for a wedding reception when you set set a table for a particular ritual or particular wedding there is a pattern in which you set a table right you are not setting the table like how you do it in a daily you you take a extra interest little bit of devotion may i call it and you take you think of the guests who are going to come you are also think thinking of the if it is a wedding you are also thinking of the bride and bridegroom so you have a, to have a drink according to your customs and then you start with the starter then go on to the main course maybe side dishes and then you also have a dessert to end with or maybe whatever dessert and according to your country's tradition you might have a drink or maybe a coffee i don't know so this is a set pattern or the order in the logical order in which you go about this is called anyasa now what is it that becomes a vinyasa to do all this all this is physical but it doesn't happen at a flick of a moment right you have to think you have to organize if one ingredient goes wrong the whole dish goes wrong so you have to have a concentration of doing all this and definitely when the concentration is to the peak the devotion comes in you cannot achieve anything without dedication and devotion so when you when the thought process comes for this then that becomes vinyasa so the physical aspect is nyasa the logical order the thought process that the concentration you take an extra effort of concentration that becomes the vinyasa years back there was a difference between what yoga was in india for indians and what yoga was for the westerners but now it's uh, almost same in the west i mean normally I, let us not go to any particular aspect normally in the west uh, the motivation is uh, let us say physical and uh, mental well being today i mean whatever whatever method you see in you guys you will search is uh, well being whereas uh, in india without uh, again 
in general in now today in the in india you guys uh, the motivation is because westerners are doing maybe it was not there before but now it's almost as though westerners has giving them a stimulation to practice yoga which might not mean that uh, they are pra they practice or let us say they undergo lessons for well being because uh, in india our own culture our own religion our own devotion helps us to maintain uh, our mental well being so there is a different motivation you and there you and in india i don't know i, I don't know why men are not uh, like i think there is an egoism with the men <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Not only yoga classes. You go to anything. In I don't know if you know what is a satsang. You know what is a satsang? There good things, I mean, something nice will be there will be uh, people telling about mythological stories. Mythological stories for us to know the morality or maybe bhajans i don't know if you have heard of bhajans a uh, singing of god's names or something anything be it anything it will be only ladies men percentage is very less men might think oh everything is fine with me why i bother i have a feeling it must be that the male superiority i can say i don't know if i am allowed to say i'm scared also <laughs> maybe that must be but my father had men male students okay hmm. <laughs> my father had my father had many i don't know why it's like that maybe they have more other interests they think their profession is very important they don't need anything for themselves my college people used to come home sometimes i used to feel difficulty in saying that my father is a yoga teacher when all my friends fathers were doctors engineers and professors so a little bit of inhibition definitely was there because it was not as famous thing as it is today i am very happy in europe it is like this mm. it's it's a, it's it's a movement i can say in europe but uh, 1970s no not much that reminds me of uh, what uh, long back my father told me told me that when uh, somebody tells you that uh, he does not believe in god he said don't forget that he believes in god but he is lacking necessary explanations to understand what god is so that is ishwara pranidana that you can call it as devotion to god or anything ishwara is not a religious god it is a supreme being so everything has come from him we have we are come from him and we should offer whatever we do to him that is we should act without first searching for the results whatever be the religion we often say that uh, devotion is a sort of love now you you love your wife or your husband you love your children but whatever they do you continue loving them but okay our our social uh, liberties give us to divorce from our wife or husband but even that case we love our children whatever happens at times we are not happy with the children but we still love them now in case of god it is same we might not appreciate or like him because we don't know who he is what it is whatever it is but just like our children we can still love them that is offer them what should be offered to them so that has no limitation of religion in it you don't have to be a religious to love your children 